What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn uh, prompt engineering for programming, which is the third category here, all right? So um, this time we're going to utilize whole analysis to generate us um, the prompt. So as you guys can see, right now I'm on whole analysis. And the first thing that you need to do is to switch from write something to code something, right? And in the first section here, which language should be used, uh, feel free to pick any programming language that you want. But me, I'm going to go with Python, right? What should the code do? So feel free to type down the project, uh, describe your project. Um, so actually this time I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate me the code for um, rock, scissor, and paper game. So I'm just gonna type it down here. Um, Rock, scissor, paper, game. All right, so that's what I want to build. And if you want ChatGPT to include cut comments that explain the code, um, just check this, all right? So when you check this, um, ChatGPT is going to provide you with additional documentations explaining what its line of code does. All right, and I think that's it. I'm just gonna copy this prompt. All right, and just go to our uh, chat GPT. I'm gonna close this first. All right, so here we go. I'm um, just gonna copy and paste that prompt. Write code that uses Python to do the following tasks, rock, scissor, paper, game, include code comments that explain the code. All right, so I'm just gonna hit uh, enter and see what ChatGPT is going to generate us. All right, cool. So this is going to be uh, the code for the game, all right? So we have import random. So this is the first function, step play game. Um, it really seems like this is the welcoming message and they have like uh, another following um, functions down below. Player choice. All right, pretty cool. Uh, definitely uh, free. Uh, for a comprehensive code and also ChatGPT provides you with the explanations explaining um, what the function does and also like how the random random integer um, functions in this case right so that's pretty cool right so this time uh, we're going to try one more thing using how analysis to generate a different project right so this time we're going to change the programming language from Python to JavaScript. And what should the code do? Right, so instead of rock, scissor, paper, game, we're going to build something that is more complex. Maybe not, not very complex, but a little bit more complex than the previous um, basic um, rock, scissors, uh, paper, game, right? So. I think I'm thinking about building a chess game, but I think it's going to be a uh, pretty complicated. So why don't we just build like a Chrome extension, I guess. So, so I'm just going to type it down like this Chrome extensions that is able to detect fake news. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be very complex, but we'll see if ChatGPT is able to generate us that cool um, Chrome extensions, right? So yeah, I'm just gonna copy this prompt and gonna paste it uh, down here and see what we're going to get, right? So I'm just gonna hit enter. All right, cool. Uh, ChatGPT is now generating us the uh, call template um, for the Chrome extensions. We have multiple different files here, the JavaScript files. Um, what else? You also have uh, content script, content JS. All right, so it's still generating. It's not done yet. So just wait patiently, guys. All right, so now it's cr uh, creating the manifest uh, JSON file. For those of you who are not really familiar with Chrome extensions, um, 
every single time you create Chrome extensions, you need to have manifest uh, .json file. Right, cool. I think we're almost done with this. So ChatGPT is generating us like three different files, um, two JavaScript files and one manifest.json or JavaScript object notations file down here. All right. <clears throat> So yeah, definitely this is a great call template that you can customize based on your need. Um, at very least, if you're a software developer, uh, you want to build um, Chrome extensions, you don't have to start from scratch, right? You can customize this template, this call template. It's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of energy, which is great. So yeah, um, that's how you do it, guys. That's how you um, use Prompt Engineering for uh, generating call template for you know any project. So I think that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to uh, do pretty much the same thing like what we did in the previous video, but instead of using whole analysis, we are going to use uh, Flow GPT to generate us uh, the prompt for uh, programming. Right. So we're going to uh, select software development, and as you guys can see here, we have a pretty cool easy text to code generator. Just click on it. As you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt that will be utilized to generate us the code. So input a programming language and generate beginner friendly code based on user ideas. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt. Uh, feel free to customize this. So you'll generate the code in specific programming language. Before we proceed, is input the programming language the user would like to generate it to be in. All right, so just gonna uh, click send. So now ChatGPT is generating um, the, uh, the response. I'm ready to generate code in any programming language. Please specify the programming language you'd like the code to be written in. All right, so I'm going to write the programming language in C++. Because in the previous video, we already tried uh, JavaScript and also Python, right? So this time we're going to try different programming language. So we're going to uh, try C++ and see uh, what's going to be the output, right? Sure, I can generate C++ code for you. What requirements do you have for the code? So it's simply asking us about, you know, the project that we want to build, like what is the code going to uh, be for? So I want the code to be able to recognize every odd number in the list so the code should be able to recognize every um, odd number in the given list all right, so that's uh, the job of our call to recognize every odd number in the given list. All right, so now uh, ChatGPT is generating us uh, the C++ code to um, do this job, all right? Okay, cool. So now um, it is still loading. So just wait. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer when it comes to generating the code. Uh, it totally makes sense because uh, the request that we input here is pretty complex request. So it's not surprising at all to see if JGPT takes, you know, a little bit longer to generate this code. Okay, cool. So um, finally, ChatGPT has generated us the code. Uh, the C++ code and guess what they also even add like the documentations for us here so yeah let me scroll up a little bit to show you what the code looks like so here here's a, some C++ code that will take an array of integers as input and print out all the odd numbers in the array all right so as you guys can see um don't worry if you're not really familiar with C++, that's completely fine. 
So uh, this is just like an example here, uh, 2, 5, 7, 14, 20, and 25. And among these six uh, numbers, there are uh, one, two, there are three of them that are odd number, right? So yeah, basically what this code uh, does, what these uh, for loops and if else statement does is to differentiate like which numbers are odd, which numbers are even. So yeah, uh, definitely a very powerful tool that you can uh, utilize to generate your code. Um, actually, I use it a lot to help me generating code. Um, to, it is called Easy Text to Code Generator. It has been available on Flow GPT for uh, quite a while and a lot of people are using this uh, problem generator guys because it's very easy to use and very easy to customize. Alright, so I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video.